Hello everyone, it's me, Daniel, and welcome to another video. And in this video, we are going to continue the creation process for our Hadrosaurus. If you didn't see the creation process in the first part, I recommend you watch it. There's a little annotation there if you uh, would want to see it. So, in this video, I'm going to create the, the retopologized mesh for, for the sculpture, which I did in the last video, and may uh, change in the future, but um, I think the, this, this version of the, of the sculpted mesh is all I need to make the retopologized mesh. So, without further ado, let's go in and take a look at what past me was doing. So in this uh, video, I'm going to do the retopologized mesh, as I've said before. And so I'm importing in the, the, the sculpted mesh, uh, and now I'm, I'm like using the speed retopo add-on to, to create the mesh the retopologized mesh, as it's really quick, and I like things that are quick, I'd rather take the quick route than a uh, long and tedious route, uh, besides it's a really good add-on anyway, so yeah, and uh, the, uh, the way that I'm going to do this is that I'm gonna try and make like loop cuts around the limbs and mouths and stuff, and around the neck, uh, so that uh, the animation uh, looks good, uh, at least in my eyes. I think this is my favorite process. Well, not necessarily my favorite. It's my second favorite. My favorite process is the animating, because then the animal comes to life. But I still uh, think this is a cool process, because you're kind of like uh, recreating the mesh, but better in a way. Actually, it is way better because it helps you uh, with a lot of things, including animating. Yes. Um, so, I am going to show an animation at the end uh, when I get the, when I do that. So, stay tuned. But that will probably in, be in the third part of the video. Yeah. So, I'll come back when there's anything interesting to say.
so uh, the mesh doesn't really look like uh, Hadrosaurus just yet if you ignore the 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 sculpt under it but prom I'll promise you it'll get there also if you wish to do this kind of retopology process uh, it, I suggest you always do this for when you uh, have uh, for when you have uh, uh, super high poly mesh that you want to m and make it sm the 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 polygons the amount of polygons on the model smaller for animation. Uh, I suggest you always do this because uh, you'll get the best results. Um, but for people that mm, that don't have a uh, speed retopo, uh, which is an add-on, a free one, by the way, uh, you can just use the 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 you know the what was it uh, skin wrap modifier and the and the little tool up in the le in the corner of the blender screen that tells you that you can move objects onto uh, faces and yes that's basically how it is so I'm going back into ZBrush to, to do some tweaks to the to the model uh, this one didn't have gums you see and gums were kind of necessary the Hadrosaurus is kind of known for having uh, uh, one of the best uh, digestive systems, no, not the digestive systems, uh, uh, mouth systems to, to chew up their food. Hadrosaurs were the first dinosaurs to do so, so it'd be kind of off if, they, if the model didn't have that. Uh, it's already inaccurate as it is. I, I don't want to, it to get even more inaccurate. I will add the, the teeth inside the Hadrosaurus's mouth uh, later on. And not in this video, but I promise in the, prom in the next video, uh, he will have teeth by then. And then he'll be properly called a Hadrosaurus.
I don't really know what happened here, but for some reason, the model, like, uh, uh, messed up, so, what I think I had to do was, like, uh, completely, uh, redo some parts of the retopology, yeah, especially the mouth, uh, which I took so long to make, uh, yeah. But, mm, but not to worry, because I think I do fix it at the end. Uh, uh, and if I didn't, uh, and if I didn't, you know, uh, recreate, redo the entire thing, I think I put the the points where they were supposed to be before uh, this happened. But be prepared, because this is. Uh, hardship number one in this time lapse, because there's something much more annoying coming up. But that's uh, uh, in the future, so it's not talk about that. Anyway, enjoy me fixing up the mesh uh, with whatever problem happened there.
Where I realize that the 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 hadrosaurus has that little finger on the wrong side, uh, making me having to fix it later on. So um, yeah, kind of a uh, kind of an avoidable problem there. Uh, I didn't know how to fix it in ZBrush, so. Uh, I'm gonna have to fix it in Blender, so it's, mm, pay attention for when I, I start doing that, and it's pretty, uh, it's pretty hard, it's the mm, least.
So this is the part where I try to fix the issue of the of the hand. Um, and what I decide to do is to do it in Blender, uh, so as to not try and learn this whole new method of 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 you know doing things. I'm also uh, creating a a, a a mirrored version of the Hadrosaurus so that I can so I can work with it better. So this is when I spend 40 minutes trying to do the craziest geometry surgery I've ever done while my laptop uh, is almost going to crash because you know editing a, a, a geometry with with uh, so many polygons uh, uh, would make a laptop of mine uh, want mm, to crash. Here's the speed that I'm going at. Yeah. Kind of ridiculous. But anyway, at the end, it, w uh, it looked okay. In fact, it looked as if uh, not, I haven't, hadn't done that, that uh, kind of error. Uh, but, to be honest, I'll, I will pay attention next time. Before uh, I, I do something like this. Because, good God, is it horrible. Uh, I don't know why I went into a mini rant there. Uh, I guess I could. Uh, I just wanted to emphasize the the pain that I felt at the time. But as I said, it was all worth it because now the the mesh is fixed. Fixed. But uh, trying to enjoy uh, me fixing this this thing at basically one frame per second.
Well, uh, after those 40 minutes of pain, it looks like uh, the, there was no error at all, so which is great. And after that nightmare, I go back to 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 modeling uh, the the re topologized mesh. Now using the 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 really weirdly uh, made uh, weirdly made sculpture as a base, which means I'm not going to use the ZBrush model anymore, considering how that model has the incorrect hand and I don't want to do that mm, a second time so I'm gonna have to uh, uh, import this this model uh, into zebra brush next time I want to change anything in the sculpt which I don't really want to do except for the hoof thing I think that would be cool besides it, 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 it would make the model even more uh, accurate so yeah I'll, I think I'll update it. I'll make an update video if I ever decide doing that. And this, ladies and gents, is the is basically the the final model, which I'm going to use for animating. Um, I think it's it's really nice. Uh, yeah, the the uh, the whole geometry thing is is fantastic and everything. Um, I am going to fiddle around with the with the modifiers before I uh, I actually finish it. So anyway, enjoy these last bits of time lapse. So there we go, ladies and gents. Uh, there's the retopologized mesh, and uh, once again, I will say that the the mod the the animatable model isn't done yet. I still have to add the teeth, the claws on the feet. Uh, anyway, I'll show that uh, in the next video. But uh, hope you've enjoyed it, and. Uh, uh, the in the second part of the creation process. Uh, I did uh, lengthen this video out so that I can fit the entire retopology process, uh, but I'm not going to put the, the the rest of the footage in one huge video, otherwise uh, the time lapse would become way too uh, uh, quick for anyone to understand uh, what's happening on screen. Um, just this video I had to go through like uh, at least two hours of footage uh, just cutting it out and stuff so anyway leave a like if you like the video subscribe if you want to support me and I'll see you in the next episode bye